Hi boys and girls, Extreme Aquarist Mark Ball again. Today we're going to hatch some baby wolf eels for you. They're actually hatching on their own. But the egg mass is normally squeezed by the mother wolf eel. And that helps promote helping the eggs hatch. The babies get out of the mass as they hatch. So we're going to give that a try. I'm going to be mama wolf eel and I'm going to squeeze the eggs and see if we get some hatching going on. Okay, we pull the eggs up and gently give them a squeeze every which direction, top to bottom and side to side. And this is what the mother would do in the wild as the eggs are hatching to help the babies work their way out of the egg mass and actually helps hatch the babies. Let's see if there's any babies that came out when I did that. I see lots of little egg pieces. There's a couple right there. Look at them swimming. Over here, can you see them? Look at them right there. There's four of them right there together. I see five, six of them at least in here now. All right, we're going to collect them. There. there. Newly hatched juvenile wolf eels. Their color goes from a kind of a brownish pink to uh, darkens up in just a day or so. They'll start showing uh, dark gray and, and uh, spotting on their backs. So these three brand new juveniles just hatched. Uh, they're pelagic when they hatch. They head out to the open ocean, so they're very sensitive to rubbing up against the inside of a tank. In the glass dish, it's not a problem, but inside the big tank, it would be. So we have specially designed our tank with a current around the outside and that makes them congregate in the middle where there's an eddy, calmer water, and that's where you get a whole bunch of them in the center of the tank. And then, so these are juvenile wolf eels that are one to two days old, were just hatched uh, either yesterday or this morning. Uh, they're pretty good size, they're about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters long and they're really a juvenile, not a larval fish. They're ready to eat within about a day or so. And we'll start feeding them on live mycid shrimps, which are very small. And these guys have a surprisingly big mouth. If you look at them, they look like they're pretty much all head and just a very long, slender body. But they'll end up being maybe nine, eight or nine feet long when they're adults.